Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js. This is our progress as of now. We have created the header. Now in this video, I'll show you how to design this navbar over here. So let's get started. So let's go to our code and uh, let's go to the header component and we will add the navbar inside the header. So here I'll just type import and we'll just call it navbar and let's type from and we want to import it from uh, this folder right here. So inside the navbar folder we have this navbar.jsx file. So we need to get out of this header folder. So you have to type dot dot forward slash and uh, let's go into the navbar folder and we need to select the navbar. Right now we will add the navbar inside the wrapper of our header. So let's type navbar over here. So now the navbar has been added and uh, here we can see the text navbar. Now let's go ahead and create the navbar component. So let's go into the navbar.jsx file. Here we'll just remove this div from here and uh, we will add a nav element. Now in this nav element, the first thing we need to have is the logo. So here we can see in our design, we have the logo over here on the left. So let's create an anchor tag for the logo. And for the href, I'll just type hash for now. And let's also give it a class name of logo. And uh, here let's type sound design. Now here we can see for sound design, we have two different colors. So we will add this design into a new span so that we can style it differently. So here let's create a span and let's give it a class name of red and I'll just cut this ending tag from here and I'll just paste it over here after the design. So this is the logo. Now let's go ahead and create these uh, menu items. So for this we'll create an unordered list. So here let's go outside the anchor tag. Let's create an unordered list and in that we will have list items and the list items we will have anchor tags. And here for now, I'll just type hash. Later, we will change the links. And the first link we need to have is about. But if you scroll down here, we can see that the first section is uh, the course details section. So we'll just add course details first and then we will add the about menu. So let's go back and here let's type course details. And uh, let's copy this list item from here. And I'll just paste it three more times. And the next one is about. So let's type about and then we have blog. So let's type blog and the next one is testimonials. So I'll just change this to testimonials. All right. So that's basically it with the nav bar. Now if you go back to our website, this is how it looks. Now let's style it using CSS. So let's go to the navbar.css file and here we have already imported the CSS file. So let's go over here to navbar.css and first of all, let's style the nav element. And uh, let's set the position of this to fixed so that even if you scroll down, the navbar will stay at the top. Right now, let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's take a look at the CSS. So let's double click on this navbar and let's go to inspect and let's scroll down. And here we can see these are the styles we need. From here, I'll just copy this width and I'll just paste it over here. And uh, now let's go back to the Figma file. And from the top, we need to have 24 pixels. And uh, we also need to have the background color set to this RGBA value. And we also need to have the border radius and the backdrop filter. So let's copy all of this and uh, let's paste it over here. And we'll just remove this comment. Now if we go back to our design, this is how it looks. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to have this logo on the left side and we need to have all these menu items on the right side. So for that let's set the display of this nav to flex. So let's tap display of flex and we need to type justify content to space between. Now we can see that the logo is on the left side and the menu items on the right side and we'll also bring them to the center vertically. So we need to type align items to the center and let's also add a Z index so that it will always be on top of the other elements and I'll just set it to 300. Right now let's style the UL. So this is the UL and in that we have these list items. Now we want all of these to be one next to the other. Here we can see we have this UL. So let's target that and just type nav UL and let's set the display to flex. And now we can see all these elements are one next to the other and we'll just remove the bullets. So I'll just type list style and set it to none. And we'll also remove the padding. 
that comes by default with list items. And now we need to have a gap between these elements. So let's go back to our Figma file and let's select this menu item. And here we can see we have a gap of 50 pixels. So let's go back and uh, let's type gap 50 pixels. And now we can see we have a gap of 50 pixels. Right now let's style these anchor tags. So let's go back and let's target the anchor tags inside the UL. So let's go back to the CSS and let's type nav UL LIA. First of all, let's set the color of the text to white. And now let's go back to the Figma file and let's go to inspect and let's see the styles. So we need to have the font set to enter. And we have already set the font to enter in the index.css file. So all the font is set to enter by default. And the next thing we need to have is the font weight and we need to set it to 800 and the font size is set to 16 pixels. So let's copy these two lines of code and let's paste it over here. Right now let's go back to our website and uh, this is how it looks. Now let's add some padding to this nav element. So let's go to the nav element and uh, let's type padding. And uh, if you go to the Figma file, here we can see we have a padding of 32 pixels. Let's type 32 pixels over here. And let's go back to our website and this is how it looks. I think we can decrease the padding of top and bottom. So let's set the top and bottom padding to Let's try 16 pixels and I think that looks all right. Right now the last thing we need to style in this nav bar is the logo. So let's go back and for the logo we have this anchor tag with the class name of logo. So let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's type a.logo and we have the same styles for the logo as well. So I can just add the logo styles over here. So I just type a.logo. And now we can see we have the correct styles for the logo. Let's also style this second part over here, design. So for that you have to type a.logo red. So here we can see we have this class name of red for the second part. And here I'll just type color. And we'll set the color to the variable red that we created earlier. So now if you go back to our design, this is how it looks. So the navbar looks all right. And with that, we have completed designing the navbar. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.